guys, gals, and non-binary pals, GM Potter here, and today we'll be going over Drama by Raina Telgemeier. Uh, it came out in 2012. Uh, it's rated for 8 to 11 year olds, and it is the, it was the seventh most banned book between 2010 and 2019. So let's get into it. So how have people described it? It's been described as sexually explicit. It's been described as having a subject matter that is too advanced for elementary school students, and it has been described as promoting the homosexual agenda. I read it, and I don't think it does any of those things. There's no nudity, there's no um, sexual anything involved. There's some kissing, but it's closed mouth, very chaste, middle school era kissing, like just a peck on the lips, that's it. In fact, there's more kisses between girls and boys than there are between boys and boys, and there's no kisses between girls and girls. So why is this book so contested? Why is it so challenged? Why is it banned? Why has it been banned? It's because one of the characters over the course of the story comes to find out who he is. He's not even our main character, he's a side character. And I guess the real problem people have with it is finding out who you are outside of what you're expected to be, which I think is the central theme of the book. That's, that's what I got from the book. Our main character, Callie, is um, kind of boy crazy and boy obsessed, which even though I wasn't at that age, I still found her very relatable. She's very, she, she has interests that are unique. She has thoughts and opinions. She has agency. I think she's very well written, especially for such a short graphic novel as it is. We also have Jesse and Justin, who are a pair of twins. Uh, Justin is uh, knows he's gay in the beginning of the book. He wants to try out for the school musical. Uh, Jesse is more reserved. He wants to join Callie and her friends Liz and Matt in the technical side of the theater. They're building sets, they're making costumes, they're doing makeup, all that, they're good stuff. Callie wanted to be involved in Broadway. That's her big dream, that's her big goal. She has a book that she goes and visits at the bookstore that's full of 1920s era uh, stage production stills and that's that's what she wants to do. She knows she has a clear vision of what she wants to do with her life, which I think is kind of refreshing that it's something outside the spotlight, especially for 2012 when the book came out, that that was the height of like, I'm going to be a star. What do I want to be when I grow up? I want to be an influencer. I want to be this. I want to be that. That's that has star power and star qualities. And it just, I think it, I, th I think it's refreshing that she wants to do something outside the spotlight. I think that's very, very, a very interesting choice because not everybody wants to be in the spotlight and that's okay too. As far as the book being banned, as far as the homosexual content and the gay agenda and all that there, feel free to skip off now if you don't want spoilers for the book. So I'll give you a couple minutes. So, Jesse, who Callie has a crush on, is realizes he's gay and is struggling within himself to try and accept that. During the final performance of the play, the lead female role is actually broken up with by the lead male role. They hence drama. It's it's all drama. It's middle school. All there is is drama. If you remember 6th, 7th, 8th grade, you remember everything was drama. Everything was red alert all the time every day. So <laughs> Um, they're scrambling to find someone for the second act of the of the musical that can perform, and Jesse steps in because he happens to know all the all the lyrics and he can sing the part and he can do the part. So he puts on the dress and there's a big kiss at the end of the the second act. He he kisses the boy and the crowd is like oh, but the show must go on. Screw it. It's very much presented with an attitude of, well, it's theater, it's not real, who cares? Boys can kiss boys, girls can kiss girls, boys and girls can kiss each other, it doesn't matter. Which I think is a very healthy way to look at things. Uh, it, might, it might not be the way that they want us to look at things, it might not be the way that we're quote unquote supposed to look at things, um, per the people who've challenged the book, but honestly that's the best way to look at it. 
he then goes to the he, he's a year ahead of Callie he goes to the big dance with her and while they're slow dancing she gets a little too intimate and he runs away and he ends up going and talking to the the male lead from the show and Callie confronts him and he's like well I'm gay and it's mentioned in passing that the male lead of the play might be bisexual he likes boys but he also likes girls and it's like okay like that's the extent of the bisexuality in the book is one maybe two lines in the whole book that's it it doesn't promote anything it doesn't espouse virtue it just is and the characters are lovely like these are with the exception of the antagonists who you're not supposed to root for because it's very much a good guys and bad guys kind of story because it's you know for middle schoolers all of the protagonists all of the quote-unquote good guys are people i would want to meet that i would want to talk to that i would be interested in getting to know so I don't know. What Have you read drama? What did you think? Do you think it promotes the homosexual lifestyle and the, the gay agenda? What is the gay agenda? No one's ever told me that. I'm pansexual and I have yet to receive my copy of the gay agenda. Like, can, can someone tell me where I'm supposed to get mine? That, that would be awesome. Um, let me know down below and don't forget to tune in next week for Banned Books Week. I will be posting a video uh, reviewing a banned book every day next week. Uh, so check it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!